So what's going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about Robinhood as price hit $37.65. I'm going to give you all an updated hood stock price prediction right now. So welcome everyone to the channel. Let's not take too much time. Let's go ahead and get into it. So we did a price prediction in Robinhood. Let me tell you first, all the way back here in 2024, the beginning of the year, you guys can see that we anticipated that uh, Robinhood was going to go lower in price. It did for the most part, but it definitely held this area right here. The market buyers determined that this is where they're going to accumulate and buy up as much of the stock as possible. And that is where the market supported itself. And then that's when the market went up. OK, and it's been going up ever since then. The market in Robinhood has been going higher and higher and higher. So if you bought Robinhood back here on the low in the beginning of this year, kudos, because your position is massively higher today as we round out the ending of 2024 that would have garnered you so far an increase of 262 percent so this is what many people think buy and hold looks like this is what it's supposed to look like to where you buy it at a very good location at the low of the market and you hold it for the next 12 months and you see 350 370 percent profit right kudos congratulations to you who's able to do that now let's get rid of this pocket of selling there and i wanted to first start off on the wiki chart for robin hood you guys can see right here was an a hint that price may be coming weak right during the week of october 28 2024 when earnings came out in robin hood what happened in the next week though yep the market went right back up it went right back up so we can tell off of this chart alone that the buyers are the ones who are the ones moving the price. They're the one that's doing it, not the sellers. The sellers are nowhere to be found. Whenever price comes down, the buyers even buy more. OK, so we haven't changed the thesis yet that Robinhood is not a buy. It still is. But at some point, at some price, there is more sellers than buyers. So once we get to that price, understand the market will tell us that, hey, this may just be the top in Robinhood. OK, so, yes, the current thesis, the current idea is that the stock is still bullish, is still trending and we're going to look for the market to continue to go higher. OK, let's look at it on the two. So here's Robinhood on the two. Look at this very wide price bar there. Robinhood on three. So we need to focus all the way back here to the highs in the market in Robinhood, going back to 2022, 2021. October 2021, this is where we would suspect a lot of the sellers to be right there. OK, pretty much taking us to the initial offering of when the stock was First trade on the exchanges. Here it is on the monthly chart. Okay, so let me put this all the way back on the daily. And we're going to see where are these zones at for Robin Hood. Okay, so yeah, this is a very big zone right here. And here's the next one. And let's do one more. Okay, so these are our targets here into the market in Robinhood. So as we continue to look for price to go up, these would be barriers that we would think price may stop. Okay. These four sellers pockets would be places to where we could say, hey, we might want to pump the brakes a little bit. Now, just like we created these pockets of selling, we can do the exact same thing for the buyers. Here's a buyer's pocket. Here's another pocket of buying. This one. And here's the last one. OK. Here is Robin Hood on the two. What about on the three? Four, five. So 
So let's go ahead and put this on the chart. We're going to take it down to the second pocket of buying. We don't want to see price break the second pocket, if anything. That would definitely place this price prediction on the wrong side of the market. Okay. Now, I would like if price do in fact come down, I would like for it to hold this first pocket of buying. So our first target is going to be up here. Either at the low of $42 or $43.25. You guys can see that gives us around 15% profit there. Next target will be at the next pocket of selling. We're just going to do as a low. $46.39 gives us 23.31% move higher there. And I think we'll leave it alone for the time being. Let's see what happens. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain profit. And as always, trade different.